We are going to continue our special coverage of uh, the drama that's playing out at the Chief Minister of Delhi's residence amidst reports that he could be arrested later tonight by the Enforcement Directorate. Let's bring you the big headlines on this dramatic Thursday. The Enforcement Directorate begins questioning of the Delhi Chief Minister Arvind K. Driwal in the Liquorgate probe. Rapid Action Force deployed Section 144 imposed outside the Chief Minister's residence amidst reports that the Chief Minister could be arrested any time tonight. Amadmi Party Mantris at Delhi Chief Minister's residence say they will court arrest if the Chief Minister is arrested. Amadmi Party moves Supreme Court against an earlier High Court order granting no protection from arrest to Kejriwal. State Bank of India discloses complete electoral bonds data, submits full list of donors, parties with bond numbers to the poll body. Election Commission puts out the data on their website. Big escalation in the Congress fund war. Congress now alleges that its funds have been frozen completely, claims that the elections are not free and fair. The BJP refutes the charges. Supreme Court pulls up Tamil Nadu Governor R.N. Ravi for refusing to reinstate DMK leader Ponmudi as a minister. Chief Justice of India says Governor is not respecting the Constitution, gives him 24 hours to abide by it. Supreme Court stays centers PIB fact-checking unit. The top court sets aside a Bombay High Court order, says the unit concerns freedom of expression. And violence unfurls at a Congress election meeting in striped on Manipur. Gunshots fired. BJP releases its Tamil Nadu list. Former Governor Tamil Sai Soundarajan fielded from Chennai Central Party Chief Anna Malai to contest from Coimbatore. But the big story that's breaking tonight, Arvind K. Jival, the Delhi Chief Minister's arrest could be imminent in the Delhi Liquor Gate probe and enforcement directed team reached the Chief Minister's house about two hours ago and the questioning is continuing. Sources saying that Kejriwal and his family's phones have been seized, rapid action force has been deployed, Section 144 outside the Chief Minister's residence, even as Ahmadmi Party workers are gathering there. Sources claiming that the AAP is to seek an urgent hearing in the Supreme Court either later tonight or tomorrow morning saying that coercive action should not be taken against the Chief Minister. But the Enforcement Directorate team questioning Arvind Kejriwal at the moment. And as I said, phones have been seized. And clearly, at the moment, the sense one gets is that Arvind Kejriwal could be arrested in the Delhi Liquor Gate Pro. That's the big story that's coming in at the moment. Remember, we have all our reporters who fanned out outside the residence of Arvind Kejriwal and they're monitoring every move that's being made. This is the Prevention of Money Laundering Act, which is being seen as an act under which it's very difficult to get bail. The Enforcement Directorate has huge overriding powers. A team of eight ED officers currently questioning the Chief Minister in connection with that excise policy case. It comes on the back of the Telangana leader K. Kavita being arrested earlier this week in that case. And remember, K. Kavita, according to the ED in a statement, had claimed that she had given a 100 crore bribe to Mr. Kejriwal and Mani Sisodia, charges which the Chief Minister has rubbished, claiming that there is no money trail, that he is not involved in this. The Chief Minister at the moment is inside his house, along, along with his wife, children and parents. Amadmi party supporters gathering in large numbers now outside his residence. ED officer Joginder had arrested K. Kavita. He is leading the probe at the chief minister's house as well. K. Jriwal's lawyers are in the process of approaching the Supreme Court Registrar General. Earlier today, the Delhi High Court had refused to grant K. Jriwal protection from arrest. My uh, Aishwarya Paliwal is at the Enforcement Directorate Office giving us all the details. Aishwarya, what are you picking up? Uh, the same team that probed the uh, Telangana leader K. Kavita is now at the house of uh, Arvind Kejriwal. Are we to link the two and believe that an arrest is likely?
Well, Rajiv, that is what we are hearing at the moment. That it seems like Arvind Kejriwal might get arrested by the Enforcement Directorate tonight, and that's the reason why you are seeing such heavy deployment from the. You know, it's almost 100 meters away. The actual Enforcement Directorate office, straight inside the lane, but the lane has been cornered off. The police deployment that you see, the barricades that you are seeing, and let me tell you, in this entire area, that's. 500 meters in and around the place where I'm standing, section 144 has been imposed. Civilians are now being asked not to be using this VVIP area because this is right behind Khan Market. All these arrangements have been made, and we just heard a couple of uh, you know police officers speaking here. It seems like the deployment will be increased in the next couple of hours. So it seems like Rajdeep at the moment an arrest seems likely and imminent. With me is Preeti Chaudhary. She tracks the Aam Aadmi Party very closely. Preeti, what's the sense you've been picking up? You've been speaking to our leaders. Is this what they've been fearing for weeks, if not months, that Kejriwal will be arrested? And if he is, what's their plan? You know, it, it was the writing's been on the wall for the Aam Aadmi Party, Rajdeep, and you yourself know multiple press conferences over the last one month where every week they thought that Arvind Kejriwal would be going to jail. So definitely there is a plan B which would unfold if the Chief Minister is arrested, and one of uh, you know uh, the parts of that is unfolding on our television screen that uh, if. The CM is getting arrested. Then the cadre and the top leaders will reach the chief minister's residence. That's what's happened right now. You can see them squatting there. Some of them likely would go on to a hunger strike. Uh, you know, you, you'd see the theatrics of the Aam Aadmi Party. We've seen the Aam Aadmi Party in the confines of the Delhi Assembly, but it's a party which has, you know, been born from the streets, uh, dharnas, protests, and they do it best. Uh, you know, where, where uh, uh, political oh, parties I'm are. I'm just going to stop yeah. you because Atishi Marlena, Atishi is joining me, Delhi minister. Uh, and a close aide of Arvind Kejriwal. Atishi, make sense of, for us of what, your, uh, what the mood in your party is. How are you seeing this playing out, the ED reaching the residence of the Delhi Chief Minister? Do you believe your Chief Minister's arrest is now imminent? See, it is very clear that the ED is here to arrest Arvind Kejriwal. Just the sheer number of police uh, that is present. There are hundreds of police officers here. There are thousands of paramilitary forces that have been deployed. Uh, the entire area for a few kilometers has been barricaded. So obviously they are not just here for questioning or to deliver a summons. This is a uh, very clear-cut attempt to arrest Arvind Kejriwal, to arrest the leader of a national party who is just going to start campaigning for the Lok Sabha elections. So this this is not any independent investigating agency anymore. And this is not just a matter of the excise policy. Now ED is being used by the ruling party uh, to try and finish off all opposition there is. Is, is this, but the government will say law is taking its own course. When you speak to government officials, you speak to the ED, they say, look, Likagate scam probe, we've arrested others, they haven't got bail. Uh, therefore, we are going step by step and now it's led to the door of Mr. Kejriwal, particularly after the arrest of K. Kavita, who according to the ED, paid a hundred crore bribe to Mr. Kejriwal and Mr. Sisodia. So first of all, where is the proceeds of the crime? That is the million dollar question. For two years, ED has been investigating this so-called excise policy scam, but have not recovered one rupee of proceeds of crime. Number two, this so-called matter of 100 crores has already been set aside by the Supreme Court. When Manish Sisodia's bail matter was being examined, this entire argument was put forward by the ED, and the Supreme Court categorically said that this argument does not stand. There is no evidence of any proceeds of crime. There is no evidence of any money trail of 100 crores. And if this was a step-by-step -step investigation, and they had questions to ask, why couldn't they have waited for the court, the matter to be finished in court? Mm -hmm. When the court is examining the matter, when the court is hearing the matter, then what was the rush today to come and arrest Arvind Kejriwal? Uh, the, uh, the ED is saying, as I said, uh, 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 Atishi, they are not going by election calendars. They are going step by step. They've gone. They've, been, uh, they've given Arvind Kejriwal nine summons. He didn't attend. The, he didn't get relief from the court. Hence, they've come to the residence. But what is the reason for the arrest? Where is the evidence? Where are the proceeds of the crime? Why do they think Arvind Kejriwal, is he, at, is he a flight risk? Is he a flight risk that they need to arrest him? Why didn't he, why didn't he appear before the ED? Why didn't big, he accept the ED summons, ma'am? 
Okay, there you have uh, Atishi, of course, going from one news channel, presumably to another. But uh, uh, go on, Preeti, you are telling me, what is the plan B? What is the plan B? Is there a plan B? Suppose he's arrested mm -hmm. tonight. Who becomes the chief minister? Does he continue as chief minister operating out of jail? The only instance in this country I can recall is Sukram. When he was arrested, minister of communications continued yes. out of jail. Otherwise, whether it's Lalu Prasad who gave over to Rabri or Hemant Soren recently, they give charge to someone else. Is that a plan or not? Well, you know, what is plan B? Plan B, Rajdeep is plan A, which is to have Arvind Kejriwal run his office from the jail. And one of the examples that I just told you was uh, the example of the former telecom minister on which there is already a case that has been made that uh, Abhishek Manu Singhvi will present to court and say that Arvind Kejriwal should be allowed to run <coughs> his office from jail. It's happened in the case of the former telecom minister. Why not? There is nothing stopping him to run his office. However, you know, there's a bit of a snag in it because then why didn't Arvind Kejriwal allow his deputy to run his office from jail? Because Manish Sisodia, uh, you know, resigned as deputy chief minister. Now, if plan B doesn't work out, if he doesn't get the permission to run his office from jail, then plan C takes over and then he'd be given no other options. What's plan C? But, you know, it's speculation right now. What is it? Well, it seems because already you have an Atushi who's taking care of Delhi. She's taking care of all the portfolios of Manish Sisodia. When Manish Sisodia was there, Rajdeep, he was de facto CM because Arvind Kejriwal was taking care of the expansion of the party. So Arvind Kejriwal was the CM, but Manish Sisodia was running the office practically. Atushi is doing that job right now without the designation of deputy CM. Okay, we're, with the breaking news, we're getting Arvind Kejriwal to be arrested soon. ED questioning Kejriwal with the evidence before him, before them, but they are claiming Arvind Kejriwal will be arrested soon is the big story that we are breaking at this moment. Arvind Kejriwal's arrest could be imminent. ED has been questioning him, confronting him reportedly with the evidence they've garnered from their interrogation of K. Kavita, the TRS leader or the BRS leader, who according to the ED uh, has admitted that a hundred crore bribe was paid. Now remember, Kavita has not come on camera. She, in fact, has claimed in, in camera interviews that she also is... Kejriwal has been arrested. The big story breaking at this moment. Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested by the Enforcement Directorate. The arrest of the Delhi Chief Minister has taken place a short while ago. Is the big story that's breaking. He becomes, therefore, the second Chief Minister in just a month to be arrested by the Enforcement Directorate coming just weeks ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. Arvind Kejriwal, Delhi's Chief Minister, has been arrested by the Enforcement Directorate. That's the big story that's breaking here on Thursday night. Arvind Kejriwal arrested in the Delhi Liquor Gate probe. Already three of his ministers have been in jail. A couple of his other close associates have also been jailed. Now it's reached Mr. Kejriwal's doorstep. Arvind Kejriwal arrested in the Delhi Liquor Gate probe. Listen in to what Atishi said just now. Arvind Kejriwal ji, Delhi ke Mukhya Mantri the. Delhi ke Mukhya Mantri hai aur Delhi ke Mukhya Mantri rahenge. हमने शुरू से स्पष्ट किया है कि अगर जरूरत पड़ेगी तो अरविंद केजरीवाल जी जेल से सरकार चलाएंगे कोई भी ऐसा कानून नहीं है जो उन्हें जेल से सरकार चलाने से प्रोहिबिट करता है उनका कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं हुआ है उनको उनका कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं हुआ है वो ही दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे ये लड़ाई चलती रहेगी यानी की मुख्यमंत्री अपने पद से इस्तीफा नहीं देंगे यह आपने क्लियर कर दिया है Arvind Kejriwal ji is Delhi's Mukhya Mantri and he will be safe in Delhi. This is completely clear and it is completely clear. There is no doubt about it. What will happen to you? What will happen to you? We have filed a case in the Supreme Court. Arvind Kejriwal is the Chief Minister of Delhi. 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 अभी उसकी अर्जेंट मेंशनिंग के लिए हमारे वकील सुप्रीम कोर्ट जा रहे हैं हम ये डिमांड करेंगे कि आज रात को ही इस केस की सुनवाई पॉलिटिकल पॉलिटिकल फाइट सो हम आदमी पार्टी सीनियर लीडर मिनिस्टर स्पीकिंग 
first reaction about Arvind Kejriwal's arrest. Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested. That's the vote from the ground zero. And that is why protests are erupting at six flag staff mark. Arvind Kejriwal's supporters slogaring against BJP. Atish is saying out there that uh, Arvind Kejriwal will continue to be the chief minister of the national capital. But the big news coming from the ground zero, Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested. Uh, that arrest has been confirmed and continuous slogaring is being done by the Amadmi party workers. And they have been gathering here even since they heard the news uh, that Ar uh, ED has reached Arvind Kejriwal's residence. And right there, uh, we have the first reaction coming from the Ahmadmi Party Minister Atishi saying that, uh, uh, you know, Arvind Kejriwal will continue to be the Chief Minister of Delhi. Arvind Kejriwal hi Delhi ke Mukhi Mantri honge. Atishi ne spasht kar diya hai, giraftari ke baad Ahmadmi Party ka pehla bada bayan. Arvind Kejriwal ki giraftari ke baavajud, wahi Mukhi Mantri honge. Ye Ahmadmi Party spasht kar chuki hai. आतिशी ये कह रही हैं कि कानूनी लड़ाई सुप्रीम कोर्ट में लड़ी जा रही है उनकी टीम ने पहले ही एक पिटिशन इंटरिम रिलीफ का फाइल किया था उसको लेकर जो वकीलों की टीम है वो सुप्रीम कोर्ट के अंदर है और गिरफ्तारी के बावजूद जो अरविंद केजरीवाल या आम आदमी पार्टी की लीगल टीम है वो सुप्रीम कोर्ट के अंदर सुनवाई की मांग करेगी लेकिन इस वक्त तस्वीरें ग्राउंड जीरो से नारेबाजी की तस्वीरें आम आदमी पार्टी कार्यकर्ताओं की नारेबाजी की तस्वीरें यहां पे आपको देखने को मिलेंगी फ्लैग स्टाफ मार्ग पे नारेबाजी का दौर लगातार जारी है विधायक मंत्री सारे लोग यहीं पे हैं और अब से कुछ देर में गोपाल राय जो आम आदमी पार्टी के फाउंडिंग मेंबर हैं और नेशनल एग्जीक्यूटिव के सीनियर मेंबर हैं वो प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस करेंगे अपने घर पे गोपाल राय के घर को इस वक्त बेस बनाते हुए दिख रही है आम आदमी पार्टी सिविल लाइंस में ही गोपाल राय का घर है वहीं पे अब से थोड़ी देर में प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस होने वाली है उटिंग Uh, Rasib, let me tell you, Aam Aadmi Party has a full-fledged plan in place. You know, it was the first ED summon that was sent to Arvind Kejriwal, which had come as a shock to the party, to the party chief and the senior leadership of the party. But right after that, a special Delhi Assembly session was called. You would also remember that in that particular session, a complete strategy was chalked out. After that, we saw a memorandum, a memorandum of sorts, or sorts happening in the national capital. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Aam Aadmi Party reaching out to. the people of delhi and also the workers all across the country uh, to make sure that it's the sentiment which reciprocates in the in the cadre in the volunteers as well and uh, uh, they are sure that it as far as the delhi government is concerned atishi saurabh bhardwaj are to take charge of the governance in the national capital while the cabinet uh, decisions will be taken from uh, the tihar jail if arvind kejriwal is taken to tihar as far as party affairs are concerned this strategy was very much uh, seen in the party campaign as well look at what is the punjab campaign arvind kejriwal is not face of the punjab campaign it is bhagwant man who is the face of the punjab campaign and aam aadmi party is seeking vote in name of bhagwant man in punjab in gujarat chaitar basawa is the face of gujarat campaign in delhi it is aam aadmi party chief delhi chief minister arvind kejriwal who is the face of that campaign and what we are given to understand yesterday i had spoken to very senior leader of the party they have a full fledged campaign plan in place as well aap workers in a, in the days to come will be seen roaming around in delhi in punjab in gujarat with arvind kejriwal mask on their face so they want to reciprocate that uh, uh, the ed or the They're saying they want to take they want to use this arrest they want to use this arrest in a way amit to try and now create a political momentum they hope in the favor of arvind kejriwal claiming that he this is vindictive action that has been taken i'll come to you amit in a moment as you get more and more reactions for us i just want to we have lots of guests joining us ashutosh 
someone who's worked, of course, in the app very closely with Mr. Kejriwal, columnist, author Sanjay Hegde joining me, senior advocate at the Supreme Court. Siddharth Sharma is app spokesperson, is with us. Sanju Verma, the BJP national spokesperson. Mohan Kumar Manglam, Congress spokesperson. Appreciate all of you joining us. But I want to come to you, Ashutosh, first because you know Kejriwal well. How do you see this playing out? Do you believe this is Kejriwal's moment of truth? Anti-corruption crusader being arrested in a corruption case. Can he really claim the moral high ground or is this end game for Kejriwal? Uh, see, Razim, I think it's, it's ironical and it's rather tragic that the man who was uh, started a campaign and became a messiah that's fighting against the corruption is now arrested uh, under the charge of corruption. Uh, it's, it's really tragic. It's, it's really ironical. Uh, I, I, I'm not here to, to pass any judgment about the, about, the, about, about, about the degree of the case and how the case uh, has been. But this was very, very imminent from the day one. I think the Kejriwal has been wrongly advised by the legal, by, by the lawyers. Uh, the, because this was never, in my opinion, this was never a legal battle. This was more of a political battle. And it was from the day one, it was clear that the, that, that the tussle between the, uh, between the Ahmadi party and the BJP will pan out in a way that the, that, the, that the BJP would like to see that the Kejriwal's government in Delhi do not, don't exist or Ahmadi party surrenders before the Kejriwal. So, so when the first summon was given, uh, if if Arvind Kejriwal has appeared before before the ED, it would have been much much better because then he could, if if then arrested over there, then he could have easily <coughs> said that look, I have been victimized. But now, when the Delhi High Court, after looking into the evidences provided by the ED and has not given any stay on the coercive action, mm -hmm. now the, and uh, even after eight summons. So ED can go ahead and the BJP can always say that there is a sign that, 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 that even, the, even the high court agrees with, with the evidences right. given, by the, uh, given, given by the ED. So the high moral ground has gone for a toss for him. But one thing I would like to say, Rajdi, very clearly, that mm -hmm. Ahmadi party might have a, have, a, have a plan that they, Arvind Kejriwal can run the government from the jail, but that is not going to happen. Uh, it, is, it is again going to be another blunder because the, daily, the, because the central government is going to, uh, to, to use Article 376 and say that, uh, that the government in Delhi cannot be run according to the constitution. There is a total constitutional breakdown. A chief minister going into the jail, the government, this is unthinkable. This, is, this doesn't happen. A minister going to the jail is acceptable because the chief minister is there. He reports to the chief minister. But if chief minister is in jail, how, how will you run the government? Right. So I think, uh, again, again, it's a... Let's show that Arvind Kejriwal have no trust in any of his leaders. Ideally, he would have resigned, would have given charge to one of the senior mm -hmm. leaders of the party who could have become the chief minister and would have run the government. Now he is putting his own 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 government in danger, and that can be uh, be, be be more dangerous for the Aam Aadmi Party I, because because. Ashutosh, let me stop you because there are lots of angles that I want to explore in this story. One is the legal angle. What happens next legally? There's talk, Sanjay Hegde of uh, Arvind Kejriwal's lawyers going to the Supreme Court tonight or certainly tomorrow morning uh, pleading that this coercive action uh, cannot be taken but it's the Prevention of Money Laundering Act and we've seen under the PMLA very difficult to get bail certainly not uh, uh, relief is almost impossible in most uh, cases do you believe they have a case and if so what can be the case Sanjay that they can have well uh, they may have believed that they had a case but after an arrest uh, the events have overtaken the case that they have already filed. And I saw somebody uh, tweeting that uh, there was some statement from uh, Dr. Singhvi that they were not going to seek uh, interim relief tonight. Mm -hmm. I, do, I do not know whether the... So what are the legal options? Just... What are the legal options you think, uh, 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 Sanjay? Uh, unless I'm proven wrong, I think the only legal option is to, is to now go through the procedure... Uh, move, move the concerned court uh, in uh, Rouse Avenue, and they, and thereafter, uh, if they get bail there, fine, or the, or then go to go to the High Court and then the Supreme Court. So the long drawn out procedure that has applied in the case of uh, uh, Sanjay Singh and the others may also have to apply in this case. But as, as we've seen in the others, they haven't got bail for months on end. Uh, Mani Sisodia has been in jail since uh, February last year. Sanjay Singh since October last year. Uh, it'll be two years uh, in the case of Mani Sisodia. So you've got, you've got all these cases, 14 months in the case of Mani Sisodia. In the case of Satendra Jain, it is two years. So you've got 
a long extended period possibly behind bars struggling to get bail for Arvind Kejriwal. Uh, Shreya Chatterjee is outside the residence of Ar Arvind Kejriwal. What are you seeing around you, Shreya? Section 144 imposed. We can see pictures of rapid action Rajdeep. force there. Tell us what you are seeing around you. Rajdeep. Rajdeep, as we talk, the road has been blocked by the uh, protesters of the Ahmad Party. I'll ask my cameraman to show you the situation outside the, the chief minister's house. Once the news of the CM's arrest gave away, the, the Karikartas of the Ahmad Party has now blocked the roads to see that they cannot probably take uh, their chief ministers away. This is the main road which will uh, be leading towards the ED because if the chief minister has to be brought out, this is the main road. And now you see heavy drama. The, uh, the protesters of the Ahmadi party now on the streets. Sir, are not in a mood to give an answer, but this is the situation right now. और यहां पर ईमानदारी के आगे बेईमानी जीत गई आप लोगों ने रास्ता ब्लॉक कर हमने रास्ता ब्लॉक नहीं करा हमने लोकतंत्र की लड़ाई के अंदर अपने हिस्सेदारी दे रहे हम लोग आज है लोकतंत्र की जो लड़ाई हुई है इस वक्त है नरेंद्र मोदी करम सिचुएशन राजदीप the Aam Aadmi Party Karikarta is now on the streets blocking the road. Delhi police team moving in to uh, detain the protesters. This is the main road that leads from the CM's residence towards the, uh, the road that will take Arvind Kejriwal after the arrest to the ED headquarters. Uh, thank you very much uh, there, Shreya. We'll come, keep coming back to you, getting more reactions uh, from you. I also want to get... Uh, Reactions at the moment from the Amadmi Party guest Siddharth Sharma joining us at the moment. Siddharth, what's your first reaction to the arrest of your leader? There's much talk of a plan B. If Mr. Kejriwal is behind bars, as Sanjay Hegde said, not easy to get bail under PMLA. Will you have someone else in line to become chief minister? Or are you saying there is no other leader that your party has? Uh, let me at the very outset uh, tell you, Rajdeep, that uh, one of your colleagues, uh, I think it was Preeti. <coughs> who said that Aam Aadmi Party revels in theatrics. So I no, I didn't say theatrics. Uh, One second. Didn't... Okay, well, then, then, <laughs> let, then let's focus on, on, on yes. Hey, go ahead, Siddharth. I, I so asked you I'll, a straight I'll, question. I'll be, I'll be very logical. I'll be very logical. Yes. What has essentially happened today, Election Commission of India published data of BJP's 8,250 crore illegal funds. BJP desperately needed a headline change. A Vishwaguru turning out to be a Vasuli Guru going into public domain. So they tried that. Now, what has essentially happened today? There is a small uh, 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 sequence of events. I'll try to be very crisp and precise within 10 sentence, sentences. I'll end it. Uh, Arvind Kejriwal challenged ED notices to him. Mm -hmm. The court gave ED 22nd April to respond. Mm -hmm. ED had earlier in its uh, public relations uh, press release exercise named Mr. Kejriwal as the top leader of Amadmi Party. Mm -hmm. Paradoxically, in court today, the ED said that it has neither named him as an accused nor does it want to question him as an AAP leader. Going further, ED also said today that although it can arrest anybody anytime, but it has not so done so as of now. So what has become clear? What has changed in the interim? Now it is very clear that there was no money trail found. Neither is Arvind Kejriwal an accused. Now ED had two options today. Either respect the law and convince the court on April 22nd that Arvind Kejriwal is a beneficiary, beneficiary or respect BJP and arrest a constitutional figure who is neither an accused nor a beneficiary according to its own admission. Now this was a catch-22 situation for BJP and it has fallen into that trap. Arrest, uh, arresting Kejriwal, BJP at your own peril and it is confessing to the panic of not having an answer to Kejriwal model of governance. Okay, what everyone knows okay. Today... Uh, Siddharth, I've heard you. Siddharth, I've heard you. You've given your, your viewpoint. Uh, Sanju Verma has been waiting patiently longer than she usually waits with patience. But Sanju, this story today is about the Aam Aadmi Party. So let's keep that in mind. But uh, uh, the charge that is being made is the BJP has timed all of this to match the election calendar. This morning, the Congress has a press conference where Sonia Gandhi also attends and they say their accounts have been frozen. They're not being allowed to take money for campaign financing. This evening, State Bank of India releases the electoral bonds list numbers and anyone who sees those numbers will know they could have matched them in 24 hours, not in four months. 
All of this tells you that the BJP wants to change the headlines and hence arrest Ar Arvind Kejriwal. That's the charge. This is Narendra Modi headline management, BJP headline management style, and also doing it on the eve of elections. You don't. You want an opposition mukt election. Your response, ma'am. Rajdeep, uh, will I be given uninterrupted time? Go ahead. Thank you. First and foremost, I wanted to ask you, Rajdeep, on a lighter note. You want to do what you want to do with Tiraskar? You want to do what you want to do with Tiraskar? You know, I think... Bala, I, I, me, we story, but to, I, I am seeing the sequence of events. Chronology, samajhiye, okay. madam. Now, me, Morning, now, the Congress me. says their accounts are frozen. Afternoon, a State Bank of India says electoral bond list out. Evening, Kejriwal arrested. I barely started. Yeah, I please go ahead then. Haan, I barely started. So, I don't have to think about the question of Manta Banerjee. 100%. I don't have to think about the question of Congress. So, I don't have to think about the question of Kejriwal. Anyway, now let me come back to English. You know? Yes, please. Uh, yes. First and foremost, let's be very clear. This entire bogey that Narendra Modi is doing headline management. I say that is a whole lot of balderdash. And I'll tell you why. Very quickly, go back to the judgment by Justice Sanjeev Khanna and SVN Bhatti in October 2023. Because I heard Atishi say one thing, and I heard the same thing being re reinforced by the Aam Admi panelist uh, a few seconds back. Where is the money trail? Justice Sanjeev Khanna and SVN Bhatti, they have clearly said, a tentative money trail of rupees 338 crore has been established, which accrued to 14 wholesalers because commission was raised from 6% to 12%. I'm quoting the Supreme Court ad verbatim. Jab aap yaha kar, you undermine the credibility of the Supreme Court and say it is Modi managing headlines. Are you telling me that what the Supreme Court said about 338 crores worth of money trail being tentatively established is a whole lot of hogwash? That was point six months one. ago. Ma'am, ma you make a strong point. You make a strong point, but just this to... Uh, just to... Just this to finish, ma'am. You make a strong point, but just to say this was six months ago. The timing is raising questions on the eve of the elections. Within a week of K. Kavita being arrested and a statement suddenly being released that a hundred crore bribe was paid to Mr. Kejriwal and uh, uh, Mr. Sisodia. She hasn't come on camera to say that, but there's an ED statement. Mr. Kejriwal gets arrested at a time when AMRB party has tied up with Congress. That's, the, that's why the question over the timing is. Your quick response Rajdeep. to that. Rajdeep, Rajdeep, no. Please do not be unfair to me. I do not want to make this into a Tom and Jerry show between Rajdeep Sardesai and Sanju Varma. You gave uninterrupted time to the Amadmi party. It is only fair. You either call the BJP and... Go ahead, ma'am. Please go ahead. Let's not waste time. Let's not waste time. Let's not waste time. Now listen carefully. And please don't heckle me. You can ask me all that sure. you want to ask after I'm done. Thank you, Rajdeep. Let's have a sane debate, as you say, and not tutu meme. First and foremost, whether, you know, the Supreme Court made, uh, uh, you know... Uh, Interjection and a pronouncement, a pronouncement six months back or seven months back is not moot. What is the moot point? I'll read out two very important judgments which are very pertinent to the case. One is July 2022, led by a three-judge bench uh, uh, of Justice A.M. Khanvilkar, where Justice Khanvilkar rejected 241 petitions. And while rejecting I... those 241 petitions, Justice Khanvilkar clearly said... I have to stop you for a moment. I have to stop you for a moment. No, not for any other reason. We are getting more breaking news. Arvind Kejriwal is to be taken for medical examination. Arvind Kejriwal will be produced before a court tomorrow. So remember, the arrest is confirmed. He will be produced before a court tomorrow. Meanwhile, we are told that Arvind Kejriwal's team is planning to go to the Supreme Court tomorrow seeking relief for Arvind Kejriwal. Uh... Sanju Varma, I'll come back to you. I also have a Congress guest. I want to get their quick reaction. Kumar, Mohan Kumar Manglam has been waiting patiently. Mr. Kumar Manglam, you will recall that the Delhi Congress was the one which had also claimed that Arvind Kejriwal was behind the Delhi Liquor Gate scam. Now you're in alliance with the Ahmadmi Party. How do you read what's happened? Rajdeep, we're now in a bit of a police state, I think. If you look at what the government of the day is doing, we're basically freezing accounts of the opposition, arresting chief ministers without any evidence of a money trail, and using the draconian provisions of the PMLA to the maximum it can be used. 
There's an old adage in our country that the process is the punishment cannot be truer than in PMLA, which is why the Supreme Court is re revisiting its earlier judgment on some of these provisions. In fact, Justice Sanjeev Khanna just yesterday has said that under PMLA section 45, if uh, incarceration is prolonged and the trial is delayed, you can get bail in a PMLA case. So I think Manish Sisodia under those observations at least could look to get bail. Mr. Kejriwal, of course, if he's incarcerated, has to now go through that process. No, no, but does the Congress... No, 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 you didn't answer my case, question, Mr. Kumar the Amanglam. The Congress had claimed court. that Mr. Kejriwal was involved, the Delhi Congress. Now you've allied with him. Do you see this as vindictive action or just deserts? I don't see it as... Well, of course, I see all actions of the ED targeted against the opposition as vindictive action. But we are not an investigative agency. We found something wrong with the policy and made an allegation. It's up to the investigative agency to find proof of that and bring it to a, a logical conclusion in a speedy fashion. Now it's over two years. You have a deputy chief minister sitting in jail. You, don't, you have an agency that went to court in December 2023 asking for a day-to-day -day trial only to be told by the court that don't, they don't have the paperwork in order. They don't even have proper charge sheets filed. And yesterday, in another case handled by the ED, the court said you can't keep filing charge sheet after charge sheet just to keep someone incarcerated. So you know, the ED I... has been slammed by the Supreme Court over the last couple of days, and you can see in most of the cases they're not reaching conclusion. No, no, you're, 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 you're saying that, that the ED has been slammed in the, in the case. The fact, though, is the facts of the case are all the ARP politicians who've gone for bail in this case have been denied bail routinely. Sanjay Hegde... How is that to be interpreted? Because this battle, one minute, ma'am. Yes, yes. Ma'am, uh, no, this battle is, no, no, please put a fader down. This battle is being fought in the court of public opinion as well. Mr. Kejriwal will seek sympathy, but people will say, look, if you're not getting bail repeatedly, how can you take sympathy? You're, none of the uh, ARP leaders who've gone to seek bail have, have got bail. Where does that leave this whole thing that there is, it's clear that the courts seem to believe that prima facie there is a case. No, the way the section itself is worded under the PMLA, it makes it very difficult to grant bail. Which section specifically, the, Sanjay? Which specific 45, section? 45, 45, 45 of the PMLA. Can you explain this to our viewers? Because many believe that the, the way it's drafted means that it's the accused who has to prove his or her innocence. Yes, the, uh, that the prosecutor must first get a chance to oppose bail. And that prima facie, the, uh, the court must have a satisfaction that uh, no crime has been committed or, or is likely to be committed. Right. Now, you must also remember that the PMLA is based on an underlying predicate offense. That is, if you have committed a crime and then there are proceeds of crime which you have layered, concealed, etc., 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 then you are also guilty under the PMLA. Now, uh, this was done specifically for uh, was supposed to have been done specifically for drug and arms money unfortunately india expanded its whole list of predicate crimes to include everything prevention of corruption this that and the other mm -hmm. so today so the scheduled case, offenses predicate offense or the scheduled offenses have been widened under it am i correct yes okay so almost every criminal uh, action comes under the scheduled offenses you don't you don't prosecute the scheduled offense that much. They, people may get bail from the, in the ordinary process. Mm -hmm. But if you impose a ED case, a PMLA case, then bail is very difficult to grant. Okay, got your point. Uh, I just want to therefore understand how this plays out politically. Ashutosh, this whole sympathy factor, a leader who, as, as you said at the outset, did not appear for nine summons, can he really take any sympathy? Can he really galvanize his flock? Because the Sanju Varmas of the world will say, Aap summons ke liye kyun nahi aaye? If you have nothing to hide, Stop why did you appear? Stop talking in see, a condescending uh, manner. Rajdeep, Rajdeep uh, see, now, the, the problem is that there is no strong second line of defense with Ahmadi Party now. The two most important leaders, Sanjay Singh and Kejriwal, who could have led this movement and turn into a, a, a bigger political battle to get sympathy for the Ramadi party. Unfortunately, all two are in, 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 in jail right, right away. And Manish Sishodhya is, is in jail for the last one and a half, one, one and, uh, almost for 30, 13, 13, 14 months and Sanjay Singh for five months. 
So in the absence of these two leaders and Arvind Kejriwal himself in jail, who will lead that campaign? Saurabh, Saurabh Bharadwaj, Atishi Marlena, they are good in terms of a, a, a public face. But are they politically equipped to, to gain the confidence of the, of the cadre, to, to mobilize cadre, so to you're lead saying, a political you're saying battle? Is, it's very difficult. You are saying AAP is leaderless and rudderless at the moment. Sanju Varma, just to answer this question, since uh, we had that bit of breaking news, how do you respond to when there will be suggestion that the BJP is looking to create an opposition Mukt Bharat ahead of the 2024 polls. You saw what the Congress said in the morning. Now Kejriwal's arrest. Your quick response, ma'am. I'm going to give a response, but I need my time without you intervening and interjecting. And first and foremost, Rajdeep, I have a lot of respect for you. Please don't undermine your own credibility by saying the Sanju Varmas of this world. Should I say the Rajdeep Sargasai's of this world are driven by visceral hatred for Narendra Modi? No, you won't like it. You will tell me, Sanju Verma, don't get personal, so please maintain that decorum. Apni debate par khud decorum rakhiye. Now let me come to the moot point. The moot point is this, Rajdeep. Money trail of 338 crores has been established, verdict by the Supreme Court. The Enforcement Directorate press release of 17th March 2023 says there is a quid, quid pro quo between K. Kavita, the South Group, and K. Jival. Point number three, the Enforcement Directorate also says that proceeds of crime of 128.79 crore have been established. The fourth point, uh, where I agree with Sanjay Hegre, the reason why, you know, getting a bail is tough is because provisions pertaining to section 21, 23, 45, 49 and section 50, subsection 2 of the PMLA Act clearly say that the onus is on the accused to prove that he or she is innocent and not guilty. And let me tell you why the Enforcement Directorate is not draconian. Anybody who knows the Enforcement Directorate's statute, this was an advisory body in 1964. It became a statutory body in 2003 after the amendment to the CVC Act. And the Enforcement Directorate has the bona fide powers of a civil court wherein it is stated that after somebody fails to comply with three summons, the Enforcement Directorate suo moto can arrest. It could be a case yes. it could be a hemorrhage. Please Ma let me finish. No, 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 you, you've had, no, no, you've had more than enough time. They, you know, you, you are the one who ends up, ma'am, with due regard. I am a very patient man. It's, ma'am, put a fader down. It's you who heckle the anchor. I listen to you very carefully. I respect you. You must show the same respect for the anchor. You keep passing jibes. I listen to them. But there comes a time when I, as a professional anchor, after 35 years in this profession, will not tolerate your jibes. So you stop the personal jibes and answer my questions. If you answer my question, I will give you the respect you deserve. If you heckle me, I will not give the respect you deserve. Others do, you also should do so. Please do that. That's the minimum you can expect. I was doing this profession, ma'am, while you were possibly yeah, in school. Please put that voice down. Siddharth Sharma, respond to what you're hearing. The fact yeah. is, Siddharth Sharma, that your leadership, entire leadership now, large sections of it are in jail. And they haven't got bail. Now, we can go on about the PMLA's provisions being draconian. But if there was no case, the court should have thrown it out much earlier. Uh, then in that case, Rajdeep, uh, in this same India, stalwarts like uh, Lal Krishna Advani, Atal Bihari Vajpayee, Veer Savarkar, in fact, uh, Bhagat Singh and even Lord Krishna were born in jails or they were in jail because of some kind of existent law. Uh, do, 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 does that make them convicts or does that make them bad people or does that make them uh, um, uh, uh, guilty of something? No. Point number two, during emergency also, we have seen that the entire opposition was in jail. Still, the government, the people of this nation answered to it. Now, third point, and let me for a second accept that mm. according to PMLA Act, anybody can be arrested and uh, anybody can be hauled in. Let us agree to the fact that there is an existent law there. Then, no, the no, 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 Sharma, na, idar ki baat na karda udar ki. I asked you a straight question. Several of your leaders have now been arrested in this case. How long are you going to say that this case is rigged? There are courts in this country. There are, uh, uh, there is a system. In, are you saying all of it is rigged? Uh, I didn't say that, uh, Rajdeep. Whatever I've answered in my first segment, I've answered all, the, all of them. That's, that's on YouTube. Let's not get into that. I, I, in fact, am saying that let us agree for a moment that this case is strong and they have uh, anybody can be arrested according to the PMLA Act. Then the question, the moot question I beg is, 
the biggest money launderers of india are vijay malya nirav modi and lalit modi bjp is giving tickets to lalit modi uh, uh, the no, that's person what who about ran away from india that's what about tree sir with due regard no, that's, that's what about tree about tree that's not what about tree what about tree is this isn't a war war against corruption anymore this is bjp's war against competence bjp is afraid of governments like aam aadmi party because they expose bjp's grave governance deficit and as far as arvind kejriwal is concerned it is like a cricket match you can bounce out a few batsmen uh, sending them injured back i think uh, rajiv you come from a cricketing family one or two batsmen you injure out because of bouncers that only tests your batting depth when the going gets tough the tough, tough get going no, what is, is your depth no no mr mr sharma it is not just arvind kejriwal arvind kejriwal today is an idea okay. it's an idea where where government serve people instead of bjp's model where government government in, in, essentially punish people this is now a polarization between what a government has to do he is a government supposed to serve people or he is a government supposed to punish people right. that okay. is the polarization I... that is open now okay uh priti you are hearing these various few points the interesting point was does the aam aadmi party have the depth anymore ashutosh made the point that it could now be rudderless that atishi and saurabh bardwaj may be faces but can they manage the politics now it's politics it's going to be out on the street there's an election in a few weeks from now on in delhi on on 25th of may can the aam aadmi party if kejriwal remains in jail for the next two months manage the show well you know in delhi it will be atishi and saurabh bhardwaj but are they the leaders of the caliber of a sanjay singh and an arvind kejriwal arvind kejriwal had been the plan a b c d of the aam aadmi party rajdeep uh, sanjay singh is a politician he's a street politician uh, you know satendra jain will not be missed as a politician but as somebody who possibly strategized uh, so would vijay who's already they are all in jail right now question rajdeep where is also raghav chadda the absence of raghav chadda in all of this will also you know interesting yes he has a nice surgery he is in london but he will be missed because it was raghav chadda who would be possibly facing off cameras in a situation like this because you have arvind kejriwal who's been arrested the role of bhagwant man now comes in because now bhagwant man will be the only emissary and the link where the india alliance comes into question okay. bhagwant man would always a stand in to arvind kejriwal Bhagwan Man would now have to do a lot of heavy lifting. Uh, which questions will be raised? Whether he is capable of or not? Atishi, on an administrative level, has been able to, you know, get control of Delhi. She uh, is uh, very well in with the bureaucracy. She is already handling the portfolios of uh, Manish Sodia without getting the official designation. Saurabh Bhadwaj is pulling some of that weight. But are they politicians? Are they? Can they look? Forget about expanding the party, but keeping the party together. Okay. You know, that's the big question. Interesting points they are being made by Preeti, who tracks the app closely. We'll go back to our guests uh, in a moment. I know that Sanju Verma wants to respond to what she. heard from mr sharma but i want to go to shreya chatterjee and uh, akshita nand gopal they are outside the house of arvind kejriwal are the roads being cleared there there was a large crowd outside his house is the police now clearing the roads up and has the situation come under control uh, rajdeep is there for me yes yes akshita go ahead go ahead So Rajdeep I'm standing right outside uh, the chief minister's residence this area actually was filled with protesters about an hour ago when I came in but you see a lot of police presence here the joint cp just making his way out as i speak he's refusing to interact with the media i'll just give you a quick sense of what's happening around me you've got the rapid action force deployed in large numbers all on standby right now waiting and ensuring that if there is a need they'll step in and push the uh, protesters and supporters who've gathered here in large numbers so they gathered and stationed in one corner this entire area has now been cleared with many of the arp leaders who've been in fact staying here they've all been uh, detained as well now you've got more arp supporters who are gathering at this point here continuing to yell slogans and demanding that arvind kejriwal be released and let me just try to speak to some of them and get you some voices from the ground as well on what they all have to say mundabad mundabad jindo chor hai hai All right so they're all chanting slogans here but I can tell you that the police has been very proactive in clearing off this area constantly let me, let, let me stop you for a moment 
Uh, what you're saying is the police is trying to clear off the area. Meanwhile, Preeti sure. giving us the news, Preeti, that you're saying that in five states across the country, the Amadmi Party intends to stage protests. Do they have the cadre on the ground to really escalate this? And importantly, will the opposition join in? Because Mohan Kumar Manglam, I asked you this earlier, you cleverly skirted that question. The Amadmi Party and the Congress have had a tempestuous relation. Some believe that the rise of AAP was responsible for the decline of Congress. And yet you've tied up Mohan Kumar Manglam in Delhi with the Amadmi Party. Where does that leave this entire alliance at the moment? Will you all fully support Arvind Kejriwal or is this now a matter for AAP to handle? Najib, I think we will fight the uh, national elections in Delhi with Aam Aadmi Party. There is no doubt in that. Uh, I think Mr. Kejriwal now has to move legally and find his options legally on how he's going to come out of this or not. And I'll say that, you know, we always talk about Mr. Modi being sort of the master of political theater. But I wouldn't discount Mr. Kejriwal in that area, in that arena either. Um, in fact, I'd say one of the things that none of you have talked about is there will be a sympathy factor if he does end up spending time in jail during the elections. Sympathy for what? That you see, sympathy for what, Mohan? Mohan, sympathy for what? Today, politicians, you know, here is a neta who said, sub neta chore hai. Why will there be sympathy heard. for him? One second, one second. One second, Rajdeep. Rajdeep, Rajdeep. Yes. Rajdeep, 95% of cases filed by the CBI and ED are you know, in, uh, against political leaders are against members of the opposition. There is constant targeting of the opposition. There is coercion. You will have people in the opposition move to the BJP and their cases have slowed down or disappeared. This is for all to see. The public today realizes that the ED, the CBI and the IT are merely have been weaponized by the BJP for their own political gain. So if there is no money trail, if there is absolutely no prima facie evidence here, and I think this notion of Kavita having given a statement is really bogus. Uh, if none of that happens, then I don't see why there wouldn't be sympathy for Mr. Kejriwal in jail. There's, I'm sure there is sympathy for Mr. Sisodia who spent two years in jail, and the ED cannot even file a proper charge sheet to take this matter to trial. Uh, uh, you're, you're hearing uh, that, Sanju Varma, if you're still with us. Uh, I'm there with you. Very nice. Uh, Sanju Varma sent me an angry WhatsApp. You're not giving me enough time. Where am I on the screen, Sanju? We haven't left you just yet. But give me a quick response. As you know, lots of voices are coming. This sympathy factor. You were with the Aam Aadmi Party. Very few people know that. That in 2014, you were actually with the Aam Aadmi Party. You didn't Can get I a ticket. Yes, let me finish. So I want to ask I'm you, ma'am. I want to ask you, you, how do you see it when AAP says they will get sympathy now because they believe that their leader, this is vindictive action. How will you respond to the charge of vindictive action? Mr. Modi wants to target Kejriwal because Kejriwal attacked him. Rajdeep, you know, and I am not going to disclose that you also sent me a namaskar on WhatsApp. Let us keep our WhatsApp chats private. Okay. Let us maintain that decorum. Sure, sure. Uh, I just have to say one thing to you, respect begets respect. Aap mujhe respect dikhai hai, aapko respect dikhaungi. But be that as it may, I was in Aam Aadmi Party, I'm glad you mentioned it. From January 2014 to March 2014, for three months, and I was not even a full-fledged member, because to be a primary member, they said that you have to be in the party for at least six months. But you know, Rajdeep, the smartest decision, the most ethical decision that I ever took in my life, I'm not some seasoned politician, I'm basically an investment banker. The biggest decision that I have taken, and I'm so glad I took it, was to leave Aam Aadmi Party because I realized in three mahine mein that these guys are a bunch of crooks. But without making it about Sanju Verma, let me just tell you one thing. You know, Rajdeep, you remember the date, and this is nothing personal about any journalist, but I just want to lay quickly for your audience a few facts. The date was November 26, 2005. A man called Shaurabuddin Sheikh died. Amit Shah was incarcerated for it. He faced trial for how many years? One, three, 13 years. It was in 2018 that the Supreme Court gave him a clean chit. The date was 27th February 2002, the Gujarat riots. The then Chief Minister of Gujarat and the current Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, the most powerful leader globally, faced incarceration for 20 years. In June 2022, the Supreme Court said there was no criminal conspiracy by Narendra Modi, giving Narendra Modi a clean chit. And even today, there is that cabal from the left. There are journalists who say, Acha, Narendra Modi ko clean chit kaise mil gay? Then the date was 6 December 1992, the Babri Masjid demolition. 
It took 28 years. It was in 2020 that the Supreme Court gave a clean chit to Uma Bharati and Joshi and to L.K. Advani. What's the point? The point is when Narendra Modi ko 20 saalo tak lagataar incarceration hua, the same people who are today saying democracy khatre mein hai, show me four statements from Narendra Modi where he said, I will not face trial, democracy khatre mein hai. When L.K. Okay. Advani was incarcerated for 28 years, show me two states, statements from Advani where he said that democracy khatre mein hai, I will not face trial. And when Amit Shah was incarcerated for more than 12 years, show me one statement from Amit Shah where he said Lok Tantra khatre mein hai. Ashutosh, okay, has, your point is well made. Congress. I've given you time. I listened to you. You wanted to respond. Okay, you made a, you made a point that deserves a response. You made a point that... Ashutosh, you know, the opposition has been going on since the morning today, ever since this uh, press conference took place of the Congress, and we'll have more of it later in the show, that uh, our accounts have been frozen. They're saying democracy khatre mein hai, the opposition. Here is Sanju Varma saying when the BJP was in the opposition, the BJP never said democracy khatre mein hai. Their leaders were sent to jail in the emergency. Their leaders, according to her, faced jail, faced the prospect of jail. Amit Shah himself went to jail. They never said democracy khatre mein hai. How is it that the opposition now says democracy khatre mein hai? What's the difference? Now you're on mute. You're on mute, Ashok. Rajdeep, Raj, yes. Rajdeep, one, well, if one doesn't want to believe, then it, it's, it's up to them. The fact of the matter is today, every political party, every top leader in opposition, or even the middle rank leader is at the risk of living, doing politics at the risk of ED, at the risk of doing uh, uh, CBI and income tax. Look at what is happening. In the last three months, the two chief ministers, one from the Jharkhand, another from the uh, from the Delhi, is arrested. So where where is the institution of chief minister today? Today, have you ever heard that any chief minister or any political uh, top leader of a political party been raided like left, right, and center? Be it, be it Mamta Banerjee, be it Jharkhand, be it, 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 it Shiv Sena, be it NCP, they take any name. Every every political party is is facing the brunt, and here the most the principal opposition political party, Congress party's account is frozen. Is it not hijacking the democracy of the country? Then what is this? Sanjeev so are you, I, 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 are you drawing a parallel between what's happening now and what happened in the Indira years? Indira went and arrested journalists, went and arrested politicians. How is this, Rajdeep, according to you, Rajdeep, similar if, or different? Rajdeep, Rajdeep, let Narendra Modi impose emergency in the country at least the people should know that there is an emergency in the country and certain provision of the constituent doesn't work here this is happening when there is no emergency there is no emergency today today a chief minister is like a sitting duck no, are you saying there's an undeclared emergency are you saying on this show that there is an undeclared emergency absolutely no but absolutely. if a leader is arrested you, if a leader you... is arrested as per the provisions of pmla both soren now uh kejriwal how does it become an emergency Sir, Rajdeep, you, 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 you give me power. Give me an enforcement directorate. I will show you how many chief ministers of the BJP state can survive. You, 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 you file a case. You arrest. Whatever ED is saying has become the gospel truth. Look at what happened to the DK Shukumar. He was arrested. He was sent to the jail. But finally, what happened? No evidence was found against him. So, and unfortunately, the, even the Supreme Court... Has, has has passed a judgment on the PMLA, which has further draconized the, the, the entire law. Today, nobody, if, if I am arrested, you are arrested. You will not get bail for more than uh, for six months or even Un, for a year. Undeclared so emergency. Okay. That you are okay. Undeclared emergency, Sanju Varma, you deserve one more response to that. You're claiming that law is taking its course, that the prime minister and the BJP leaders never said democracy is under threat. But at the moment, the opposition is saying undeclared emergency, ED weaponized, only targeting opposition leaders. Two chief ministers arrested, accounts of the principal opposition party I frozen, have... and you're saying all is well, sab changa hai. Sab yeah, changa see. Si. Theek hai. Now, Rajdeep, I'm glad to see that you Sanju Verma ke debating style copy ki hai. You know, this is what I normally say. Hemant Soren, the two key witnesses against Hemant Soren, one is deputy, former deputy commissioner of uh, Sahib Ganj police station, Ram Nivas Yadav, Pooja Singhal, former IAS officer and a close confidant of Soren, and the former deputy superintendent of Sahib Ganj, Rajendra Dubey. People who were serving under Heman Soren turned approvers and witnesses. And Indian jurisprudence may kaha gaya hai, if there is a witness, 
if there is a smoking gun by way of an approval, then there is no chance in hell that you will go scot free. In the Delhi liquor scam, who are the approvers? Dinesh Arora. Who are the witnesses? Vijay Nair, Amit Arora Buddy Retail, Samir Mahendru of Indo Spirit, the former Excise Commissioner C. Arvind, the former uh, Chartered Accountant of K. Kavita, Bachchi Babu Gorantala, the former Confidant of K. Kavita, Arun Ramchandra Pillai, who says K. Kavita and Arvind Kejriwal were hand in glove in this yeah, 2000 crore plus. I, but the chart sheet, excess. you know, we must be very careful with facts. The chart sheet in this case has still not been filed naming Arvind Kejriwal. Therefore, at the moment, he still remains an accused. He's not been charged. But Sanjay Hegde, Sanjay, no, one, one minute now. Sanjay Hegde, you wanted a final word before you left us. So while you are, we, we are continuing our coverage, this is special coverage going on late because we expect many more twists even in the next hour. But Sanjay Hegde, you wanted to make a point. What is it? My simple point is that the essence of tyranny is the ability to make a harsh law and use it selectively against your enemies. That's it. You want to repeat that one line for me? The essence of tyranny is the ability to make a harsh law and to use it selectively against your enemies. The essence of tyranny is to make a harsh law and then to use it selectively against your enemies. I will keep that in mind uh, uh, about the PMLA. Lots of debate can be had on the PMLA, but let's focus on the politics. Just to update our viewers as of now, uh, Preeti, from what you're learning, uh, Mr. Kejriwal is still at the residence, still at civil lines. So while an arrest has been made, he's not been taken to the ED office. Just to inform our viewers, the ED office is uh, at uh, Abdul Kalam Road. That's where the ED headquarters at least are. As of now, Mr. Kejriwal is in civil lines, which is uh, in Purana, Purani Delhi. So from there, he'll be taken to Latians Delhi, uh, where he will uh, spend the night, presumably, and then be produced tomorrow in court. What are you picking up? Man? Well, you know, what we're picking up, Rajdeep, is that uh, search operation is still on. Searches are still being conducted. And till the time searches are over, Arvind Kejriwal will stay put at Six Flagstaff Road. That is where uh, the chief minister's residence is. And after that, yes, he will be taken. Now, the fact is uh, the Delhi police right now trying to clear, as we speak, there are more and more Aam Aadmi Party cadres who are coming in from both sides because that entire road outside the Delhi Chief Minister's residence has been blocked. On both sides, the Aam Aadmi Party cadre has come in in protest. They are being detained. The police trying to clear the area. So at least once Arvind K you know, Kejriwal is to be taken out, whether they'll use the back uh, entrance or the front gate, it all depends. And then, of course, he'll be taken and produced in court tomorrow. Tomorrow's also uh, when the Aam Aadmi Party's uh, uh, legal team, headed by Mr. Singh, Abhishek Manu Singh, is going to approach the Supreme Court to have a stay on the uh, arrest that has taken place by the ED. Just to tell our viewers, two days ago I spoke, or yesterday I spoke to Arvind Kejriwal and I said, uh, uh, and, and you know, there has been a huge buzz that you're going to be arrested. He said, the only thing I know is whether I will be arrested pre-Holi or after Holi. Uh, as it has turned out, he's likely to be arrested or has been arrested pre-Holi. Holi is on Monday.